Yo, hello, welcome to Time and Tide. We have just finished a watch fair. We are all celebrating in one of the ways we know how. We are going to finish with a game called Kiss, Marry, Kill, which is where we nominate a watch that we would kiss, like a night of passion. Marry, we know what that means. Lifetime of servitude and slavery and joy, honey, hi. And Kill, which is a watch that just got your passion up, but maybe not in a great way. Okay, let's start playing Kiss, Marry, Kill. <laughs> well, well, I realise I'm holding a beer. Uh, so I'm Kylie, and just like Pietro, I sent Andrew an email. <laughs> and, he, and he responded, but actually I really loved Andrew and the team doing this very format last year. I thought it was cool. Who am I going to axe murder? Well, for all of the really cool watches that Hublot released this year, there was one that I just could not get my head around. It's the 32 millimeter Spirit Big Bang, which when I put it on my wrist, I'm like, this is really cool, but it's just a mini mill and it should be a Hublot. And I felt really upset because the small watch, the one that should fit on my wrist, just made me feel a bit weird inside. Uh, I'm upset with who you are. Yeah, I'm Marcus, and I'm dying on the inside. <laughs> no, no, I'm not really. But am I? I've, I've uh, pointed at too many watches this week, and I really can't um, dig deep enough. Look at that. I just saw something, only the last watch that I just shot, and it was an Alpina Extreme Automatic. Now, I saw this at Watches and Wonders, and it was on a rubber strap, and I said to them at the time, I'm like, you guys, you've missed the mark just a little bit. And it also comes on a rubber strap. This needs to be on a bracelet, and they've done it. It's on an integrated bracelet. It's very affordable, very, very approachable. So maybe that gets a little... Rolex, in 11 years of me coming to fairs, has made this much progress in actually innovating, doing anything different. And in this year, they did this much, this much, this much. However, not all innovation is good innovation. And if you hashtag blessed me, I will find you, I will kill you. And I got hashtag blessed by that fucking day date with its platitudes at the top. I'm just gonna kill it. Don't ever platitude me, even if it's cute. I'm serious. Oh, hey, my name is Pietro, and if you want to be here next year, just write an email to Andrew and probably he's gonna answer back. <laughs> <laughs> my kiss of the show is probably gonna be the Cartier Santos skeleton micro rotor, the yellow gold with, uh, with the blue lacquer, definitely. I'm Lars, uh, I got invited by Marcus to join the team. I'm not a watch person, but I definitely enjoyed it a lot this week. It has to be the Rolex bubbles. Oh, really nice. liked it, wouldn't be forever. Could probably sell it with a profit. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's just what it is. All right. Who am I gonna marry? Who am I gonna marry? It's the Vacheron Constantin Patrimony Platinum Salmon Dial Day Date Retrograde. It's the most, to me, just a stunning, incredibly well proportioned watch. The colorway is beautiful. And honestly, I can't get this watch out of my mind. I'm gonna marry it, I'm gonna live with it forever. We're gonna have babies together. It's gonna be fantastic. That's me. <laughs> Well, I'm Zach Blass, I'm your editor of Time and Tide Watches, and which watch am I going to kiss? Well, I think I'm going to have to give a nice little smooch to the Gégé Le Cute Reverso Chronograph, the Tribute Reverso Chronograph. The watch itself is beautiful, especially in steel with its sort of grey-blue dial. Flip the mid-case over and look at the movement, and it's still displaying the hours and minutes. Absolutely beautiful. Chef's kiss. I'm Luke, I'm the editor at large at Time Tide, and I'm gonna go for the Parmigiani Tonda Micro Rotor in platinum. I'm a relatively low-key guy, you'll note that by the lack of lack of peak feathers about my 
person. By your amazing yeah, amazing hair, hair, the lack of facial tattoos. <laughs> and what I like about this this watch is that doing this one this year in platinum, the most understated material of them all, it really like floats my boat. I saw something at Hublot, and it's the new Olinsky on titanium. Man, it is just reduced in size. Really, really beautiful. All of the facets, it's just great. It's great, and I'm like, yeah, I think I could do this. <laughs> but I don't know, it's in titanium. But for the first time this year, Grand Seiko made sense to me. And I don't know Grand Seiko numbers like anyone. SBGZ009. SBGZ009. Wow. Man. Z stands for Zach. <laughs> the way someone's attacked that case, like they've attacked their dials, it's insane. I don't know. For me, now it makes sense. That's just really great, right? Right? Am I, yeah. am I just tripping? No, no, no. Yeah, not tripping. That's the one. Thank you very much. The Cartier Tank Normal Privé. I will take it in gold. Everyone freaked out over the platinum. I'll take it in gold. It's this heavy, beautiful piece on the wrist. It has a beveled... Is it crystal? Beveled sapphire crystal. Be beveled sapphire crystal. So it has this sort of Coke bottle effect, which, which distorts the light. I want to smooch the hell out of this watch. That's it. It's a smooch. And we'll see what happens. Luke was not ready to commit to the Parmigiani micro rotary and platinum, but marriage, I'm committing to it. It suits me. It's understated. It's monochromatic, you can wear it with anything. It looks good. In a suit, it looks good. In beach shorts, so it's perfect. Look at this little Italian. Don't you just love it? Huh? Can I say little Italian? <laughs> he can bench press Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> It's gotta be the Aureus Kermit. Sorry. I think it's just ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> All right, go. I've been winking at the uh, Reverso for a while. There's been a bit of footsie under the table. The Reverso uh, tributes small seconds. It's made me ready to put a ring on it. Why is that? It's they've shaved a millimeter off that case. It's now down to 7.56. It's going to slide beautifully under that cuff. Under that cuff. This very cuff that indeed. Very cuff this one, yeah. <laughs> oh. I've been shooting for 11 days straight and I've shot definitely hundreds of watches. Keepers, man. I wonder what this price point is. It's two grand. Dude, it can't be two grand. Yeah. Really? And today, towards the end of the day, we got to a certain brand. Look, kudos to them for their achievements, but I would kill this watch in a heartbeat. It's a Roger Dubois. It was everything that my spirit did not need at that time of an 11 day shoot of watches. Everything was dying on the inside. I just wanted a hug, dude, not hug. <laughs> <laughs> There might be a recurring theme here where perhaps I'm gonna try to marry something that somebody else couldn't commit to. If you're gonna marry something, it's gotta be forever, and forever you need timeless design, and nothing is more timeless than the Cartier Tank Normal Privé. But I'm not doing it in yellow gold. I want the stealth, wealth, flex of it in platinum so everybody else can think it's steel, but I know it's platinum. The heft on the wrist is fantastic. As Andrew mentioned, the beveled sapphire crystal, which by the way, I went to the manufacturer, I watched the guy with the blowtorch actually make those crystals. So it's a human being doing this. It's fantastic. It's gonna be quite an expensive ring, but uh, I still have two kidneys, so, you know, one to spare. Help me manifest. <laughs> this isn't the first time I've had to say that things are getting weird on Time and Tide. I had a girlfriend that Zach's now married. Yes? I had a kiss on the tank. Ah. And he's now married that, so that's gone for me. Thanks, I was actually enjoying that side piece. Now things are about to actually get reversoed because my marriage is the reverso <laughs> tribute duo bass chronograph. This is a Let's, swingers party. Where are my car keys? <laughs> <laughs> Time only, solid dial, elegance, black dial on one side that you then flip and see a skeletonized chronograph on the other. 
This is the person I want to be. I want to be the man for all occasions. This watch can help me do it. I am marrying the hell out of that reverso. You didn't marry that? That's your mistake, my friend. I actually feel like weirdly drawn to it, but that's what's so confusing. It's like, it's left me bamboozled. It's kind of reconfigured, in fact, my entire system of belief. It's the Tudor Black Bay 39. But the but is the one where instead of having like our indices, it's got diamonds. You might not have guessed it, I don't tend to wear a lot of diamonds, you know, but believe it or not, that's true. But I picked up this watch and I couldn't stop trying it on. It's obviously all wrong for me, but I just keep coming back to it. So it's just left me all confused. It's like a bad relationship. It's like, a, it's, like a, <laughs> like, it's gonna be a crime of passion. There was one watch I just fell in love right away, and it was the Vacheron Constantin. I don't even know, we haven't even been properly introduced yet, I don't even know her name yet, but I just fell in love. It's the traditional, it's the one with the turbulence. This will be the one for life, I probably have to save for the rest of my life to be able to afford one, but that's the one. <laughs> Zach Blast. Look, I'm, I'm a man of many words. I've written, what, over 900 articles on the site, but I'm gonna keep this very short. Tudor Royale. <laughs> Kill, <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss the SBGY026, that pink dial Grand Seiko with a rose gold Omiwatari case. It's really beautiful, but I'm not sure that I'm in love. Not enough to marry but definitely enough to buy and then sell later. Hopefully for a profit. Probably I would kill the Omega Seamaster Aquaterra. Not because I don't like it, but because they released last year and the only difference this year was just framing the window. So thank you Omega for re-releasing a product that was already out, but I'm sorry, you die. <laughs> Ready, 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 and then this is happening, and then this is happening, and then this is happening. Bye!